Hi everyone, I'm back. I've just done the um, have premixes and mixtures upload. So now we'll do an example of um, the string dip flower style uh, to start with and hopefully that will answer some of the questions that uh, people are having or issues that they're coming across. So we've still got in here the White House paint with the flow troll. So the spring brand White House paint mixed at equal parts with the flow troll. And like this is going to be an example of how you can practice something. Um, so how you can practice without wasting paint. Granted, there will be a little bit lost in the process, but like you will see, I am going to use the white and one color. Um, for this, <coughs> excuse me again. And so when I'm finished, if I don't want to keep the painting, I can scrape it all off scoop it all up into another container and have a light blue so that way you're not wasting it if you have like multiple colors and it turns muddy grayish you know that you don't really want to keep that but if you do like this blue and a white you can scoop it all up make sure you got a clean uh, backdrop underneath so you can scoop it all up and then you have a light for example light blue um, just what popped into my mind is this is the emerald green from creative place this is the cobalt blue I could do something with both of these colors and the white because I know that these two together make a beautiful turquoise. So, or you could do red, yellow, and have a nice peachy apricot color at the end of it. You know, so just different things like that. But for today, we're just going to use the blue. And then I can scoop it all up and have a light blue ready to go. Okay, so take the lid off. Right. Now I'm going to move the camera a couple of times so that I can get you on a great angle for what I want to show you. This is general eight ply wool, acrylic wool, I would say. And this is my favorite to use um, because it's nice and light. It doesn't weight down too much once the paint is on it. I see a lot of people have changed it up a bit and are using chains and the effects are brilliant. They're very pretty. For me personally, I don't use that. One, because the weight of the chain goes straight through to the surface. And so when you're pulling it, it the layer that you've got down, you're pulling it and it can roll underneath because it's so heavy and down low. Um, let's see if doing a demonstration actually helps with that. Okay. So I'm going to do a flower. So you can measure it out. Go, oh yep, that looks about good. Snip it off. Put that aside. And then there's plenty there. There's probably too much. Do Right. 
Okay, let's see. Okay, we'll cover it in white first. That should be enough. The other hint that I saw and have learnt over the year, over the previous, over my previous videos, is to have a wet rag handy just off to the side and you know you don't have to worry too much about having colours and mixtures on your hands when you're doing stuff. Alright, so we'll spread that around just quickly because I'm not don't want to hold you up too much. I know that this is I won't be speeding this one up because I'm working on explaining this to you. Um, so it will be in normal time but if you'd like to watch it a little bit faster if you go down to the settings you can select to watch it I think it's a normal one and a half speed or two speed yeah that's all good too I appreciate every time somebody watches okay now I torch that just to clear out the bubbles. That's the only reason I'm not using any silicon in anything today. Here is my paint. And depending on the style I'm doing will depend on if I just directly put the string into the paint or whether or not I pour some out and do it on the plastic. So just wrapping it around and pushing it under the surface. There we go. Right. It's put in my fingers. Alright. So we'll cover that bit but then leave it sticking out of the top. So as I've said in many comments and previous videos, I'm absolutely thrilled at how well the string dip technique has taken off. Um, it may be listed under, you know, some people put string painting or string pour, whatever, but I'm absolutely thrilled how this technique has been fully grasped and some of the beautiful works that have come out of it is absolutely amazing. Right, so, let's try and zoom you in a little. But I am going to pull the string out, scraping it along the side. It still leaves plenty on there, especially when it's really long like this. And you try and get to that bottom bit. <laughs> it's I think it's way too long now, but that's okay. So I would place it down. Zigzag my way down. There we have it. And So, how do I do this? This is what you see when there's loads of paint on there. The string, the paint settling it down into the background paint. Um, sometimes, depending on the effect you like, that could be too much paint. So you might want to scrape it off a little bit more as you pull it out of the container. So we're going to pull, I'm going to move you again, hang on, Let's see, okay, this is where, when I pull the, pull the string, I'm pulling straight down to the one position, 
right here and I do whatever it takes to keep it coming off in that one point. So you can see here I have a lot of white build up oh, I hope you can see. Let's see if this helps. Did that help? No, not really. But there's a lot of white build up here. And if I pull too hard, that is going to come over the top of the string. It's building up here as I pull it across. So just slowly pulling it down. Now it's building up inside here. Slowly. And now in here. And around this loop. So there we go. You can pull it all the way down to the end. And that is really quite pretty. Man, this was just supposed to be an example and I'm supposed to scrape it off. Thanks, buddy. Little man Ryan just came by and gave me two thumbs up. I'll turn that off because I noticed it was flickering. Okay, um, wow, I'm really quite sad that this turned out so pretty. <laughs> you don't often hear that, do you? <laughs> okay, uh, I'll just give you a look closer. Okay, so if I try and get down on an angle, I don't know that it will show. The rises and the bumps in the paint, you've got a lot of white here, a lot of white here, a lot of white and blue here. That's because the pulling of the string manipulates the paint to make way for it to flow through. So as beautiful as this is, I'm going to scrape it. <laughs> I know, I know, it's terrible. Whoops, sorry, wrong way. Okay, I'll just put you back up. Right, so I cleaned up yesterday and now I can't find so many things. Um, let's do... Fill that in again. There's some more weight. But this time what I'm going to show you is... Um, okay, so let me try and explain. That was how I do it. Um, dragging through the paint, lifting it, trying not to let the string drop underneath the base layer of the paint. And I am just going to cover that. Alright, so this time when I lay it down, I'm going to also do the flower again. Oh, but I'm going to do it this way. Okay. I just had an idea. Okay, so now if I pull it this way, what you'll see is I'm going to pull it really fast. How's that? And see if it happens. So if I pull it. No, it didn't do it. Okay, that's fine. So that's still quite pretty. Pulled faster. Um, 
don't have a chain that I could use right now. But I will try something that will help. Hopefully. Like the whole the whole meaning behind this video is to offer some help, some answers to some of my viewers, subscribers, creative family. And hopefully this will help them. So, right. Now, there's been a lot of, oh, apart from the wobbles, let's put that down there. And grabbing this one and pulling it through. Didn't do it. You put this down and drag it through. See that paint? Oh, okay. This is like really pretty. So I'm wondering if I can start scraping. Squeeze that off. And because my white cup was empty for now, I'll just scrape it into there. that up there to scrape up at the end and go back this way because what I really want to show you I'm having trouble achieving because <laughs> I've I've worked hard at not getting that effect um, okay This is giving me a nice background kind of effect. Just give it a smooth tilt to fill in some of those finger marks. All right, that's looking pretty smooth. Make sure we're in camera. Okay, back to the string in the cobalt blue. So I am just going to pour it on. I am slightly out of shot, sorry about that. What I'm doing is just dipping the paint back into the container, back into the paint, the string back into the paint, sorry. Okay. So now let's see, because it's bigger, if it happens. Try and come back this way again. So I'm going to pick up the top and drag it. You can drag it around. <laughs> it came off again. Okay. Right. So I can't seem to get it to go in the way of the example I'm trying to do. I'm going to give it one more shot and if I can't, I hope that something in this video has been able to help you.
and if at all too it just helps you realize that you can trial things next time you want to mix up a pink paint from white and red why not have a play with it in the process so and in there just dragging that string back through the blue and try it one more time it up pulling it down no see I just find that this wool this is why it's my favorite it just pretty much sits on top and doesn't affect that that roll over of paint oh there look oh oh nearly <laughs> so, right so just sweeping off the background right now so I'm going to end it with a painting so it will be very subtle background and you can see what I'm doing like I'm literally just Pulling it across the top, look at that excess that I scooped off there. That is what I'm, I'm seeing a lot is rolling over the string or the chain, whatever it is you use, because that is down below the paint surface. So I'm looking at this and I want to go perhaps this way. All right this way and let's see if this light doesn't flicker anymore okay you should be able to finish up with that light on so going down going to pull up my string Squeeze it off because you know all that paint's going back into a container as a light blue. The rest of it going in the cobalt. And we shall create. here just pulling level with the canvas watching that build up of the paint now without dipping it again yeah well I'll dip the top One over here. Okay, I'm gonna pull it down. You'll hopefully see some of these build-ups around here. Let's scrape it off again. In the blue and so we're getting low on the blue now so here we go all right so one more in here and down oh. 
very wonky. <laughs> the level with the substrate, watching those piles of paint build up. That's better. I'm going to go over that last one, but I'm also going to have to really manipulate this. Colors pretty much all gone now. It's a light blue. We're blending in with the background now, mixing in whatever paint I have available. This one again. Sorry about that door. horrible squeak on it. Can you lay it backwards? Sure. And then we're pretty much done. Well, it is done. Excuse that. That is a small child squeaking at the dog all right all right so there we have it this is complete and looking for a dash okay I'm going to quickly torch it and see how it looks Okay, the natives are getting restless. I'll give you a close-up and I'll be back. So here we have it. All right, we've got close-up here. Background, feeling blue. Coming up. There we go. Let's see, you can see there the reflection of the light separating into those rises and falls in the paint that uh, from pulling the string through so I hope that has helped um, if it hasn't please let me know and I may need to try and do a video or something separately directly for you um, so yeah for the moment we'll leave it at that and I think for everybody who comments that they would like this painting, you'll all go into a drawer and this painting could be yours. How about that? I'm going to give away this painting for those who comment, yes please, or oh, I'd love that, whatever you would like. If you comment that below, you will go in the drawer and then I will send this to you. All right, thanks so much for watching. I really hope that helps. Take care, everyone, and be fabulous. Bye.